Hello everybody, welcome back. On this example, I'm going to show you how to copy data from a sheet and copy to another sheet. But um, I need to teach you a few things before you get started. Imagine that I have some data here and I have um, a number of registry and I have name, date, and I have um, grade, what else can I have? Observation. I'm sorry. Observation. Observation. Something's wrong here. Let me just correct this. Oops. And I something is still wrong observation okay and i have a flag like true or false so um do you want to receive promotions do you want to receive emails so emails yes or no okay i got one type of value for each one and for the first column oh the first thing is the first line i made the first line all titles it's because i want to simulate a database and on the first column, I want to make a unique registry for each one. So it's going to be a unique value for each one. And I got some, I can write then some names here. I can write some dates here. Grades. And the important thing here is I've got the first column is unique entry. And uh, the other one is name which is a string on dates i have dates on grades i have numbers on observation i have large text and on emails i have one for true and zero for false so i have a boolean value and be sure to make this um just like a database i i can have any any lines uh empty like like this one here that's the biggest trouble about excel excel is very very flexible but on the same time, Excel, uh, that flexibility can ruin us when working with, X, with macros because I cannot have a blank line just because it looks beautiful. I can't have this. So I have uh, my data is stored like a database. And if I want to make a report and I want to make a chart and if I want to make a, a pivot table, I'll do it in another table. But I want to keep this as a database. And I'm going to show you how important this is because uh, the, the number of entries on my database is going to variate, it's going to alternate between the days. So I'll never be sure how long it is, how big it is that my database is, including columns and including rows. So if I record a macro saying that I'm copying A1 to F17, that's going to work only for this database. If a database grade grows one line down or all column right, it won't work anymore. So this is why I want to make this video because I want to show how to select this database uh, dynamically. All right. So let me record this macro. I'm going to my developer tab and I'm going to click on record a macro. And I'm going to leave everything as default, including the name. And I'm going to click on wait one. I'm sorry, A1, and you know that I like to start my macros clicking on A1, and then I'm going to press Ctrl Shift on my keyboard, and I'm going to press down arrow, and then right arrow. So I selected the whole database, you see? This is how important it is, because uh, if my database is small or big, if it grows or gets smaller, it doesn't matter. I will select everything because I'm starting on the first cell and I'm clicking Ctrl Shift down and then right. If you want to do Ctrl Shift and it's also okay, you can do this. You don't have to do down right. You can do Ctrl and Ctrl Shift and and you're gonna select everything. After I do this, I'm gonna click on Ctrl C or right click and copy. And you're gonna see these little dots running around it. It means that it's on the buffer of my computer. It's been copied already. And then I'm going to select um, another sheet. And I'm going to Ctrl V here. 
and there you go I got my copy and paste action but if you go back to plan A1 you're going to see that I still have all this data on the buffer because all these little white dots here running so if I press ask on my keyboard I erase this data from my buffer okay now I can stop recording and I'm going to pull, erase everything on my plan 2 because I want to do this example all over again with you and I'm gonna make this database a little bit bigger so you see it's going to work let me see the email oops the email of this fellow here and I write something okay there you go now let, let me open my Visual Basic I can click here or go Alt F11 and I'm going to my modules where I record this macro I'm going to erase these comments here and there you go there's the macro now I'm going to run this step by step so you can see what does it do I'm going to click on A1 and I'm going to do a control select control shift select down you see Excel down so let me see what it did you just select the first column and then I'm doing a control shift select two right and I'm selecting everything to the right and you see the database got bigger but my selection is dynamically so it's dynamic so it doesn't matter it's going to select everything then when I did the control C I did this the, I uh, the macro required this comment here selection that copy and then I don't have to make another sheet I just need to go to my second sheet which is plan 2 and after select plan sheets I'm going to select range A1 to start from the beginning and I need the selection dot paste so I'm gonna write it again I just erase it my bad selection dot paste I think it I think it's active sheet dot paste active sheet dot paste I think that's going to work so sheets plan 2 I just select the second sheet I click on A1 and I'm pasting it oh it got it got the 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 thing I was copying from the from my code so let's go back here and let's do this one more time and this time it's going to work so guarantee select A1 select A1 oh sorry about that stop this select A1 um, something's wrong let me see what's wrong here where is this go back over here well oh it, it worked now range a1 that selects now I'm doing control shift down select all the first column then I control shift right selecting all the, all the columns to the right then I'm going to pop this you can see the, the little white dots going through my data that means it's copied then I'm going to go to plan 2 range a1 and I'm gonna paste it you see and now I'm gonna run this code here and this is the code when we press escape X key because this is the code that's going to erase all the, da the data from my buffer if I click on a1 you see there's no more those little white dots going through here so this is it this is how you copy data from one sheet to the other using um, the dynamic selection control shift down and control shift to right if you want to do control shift ends you can substitute these two these two lines of codes to a recorded macro that says control shift to end and another important thing that i want to do is this imagine if someone likes to would like to make a break line here just because it looks cool um, if i click here and call control shift down and right i would not get all the data so this is very important to keep the data as a database because this is going to help us um, in a lot of, of other examples that you're going to make in the future so the first column the first line is titles the first column is uh, a unique key for each entry then the the entries they go according to their type if i got a date you know it has to be dates here if i get rates it has to be numbers here if i get a boolean it has to be a boolean here i just made something wrong here it had to be a boolean here no well let me go one without it it's got to be one or zero true or false 
true for one, zero for false. And email, I should make a mask for the email, but you got the points. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please be sure to subscribe our channel on YouTube and our site learnmacrosnow.com and I'll be posting videos every day and please be sure to visit to continue your macros course and learn everything that you want to learn. If you have a doubt, please send it to me. I'll be very happy to make a video about it. Thank you. See you next time.